Hi everybody, welcome to our useful how-to video that Mr. Meta is forcing us all to do. So Brooke is gonna come on over here and choose randomly what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna do it. So, the <laughs> so it's the wrong one again. Try, try again. again. <laughs> How to, how to make, make a, a bed. bed. How to make a bed. Kaylin, I think you should use this. Yeah, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Step one, start with your bare mattress. Buy the best one you can afford. You'll be spending a lot of time on it. Make sure it's clean and fresh. I advise vacuuming it, regularly turning it, and occasionally laying it out in bright, direct sunlight if possible. Next up are the sheets. Because sheets directly touch your skin, you want to make sure they're soft and comforting. I prefer cotton ones with high thread count. These are the most expensive option and require the most labor to care for, but I think they're worth it. Alternatively, you could seek out some budget level poly cotton blends that still feature breathability. Start by stretching the fitted sheet across the mattress, pulling the elastic hem all the way across the bottom edge of the mattress. Tuck in the sides and corners as, tight, as tightly as possible. Air on a cozy blanket for color, texture, and warmth. You can tuck this in just like you did with the sheets or leave it hanging evenly off the sides. Crowning glory is the comforter or bedspread. The top layer is your visual statement, so let it reflect your personality. This layer should tie the look of the linens together and complete other visual elements in the room. Pillows come next. Choose feather down for warmth and softness or firmer for support. Replace pillows when you notice obvious signs of fraying or wear. In addition to the comfort and neck support, pillows can be decorative. 